All right. Welcome again. Really appreciate you guys for taking the time to be with us for another video. Welcome to the MMC University. My name is Ernest. I will be the host for today. <laughs> so we're going to do another 16 question with you guys. Now, those questions are going to be random. So it's just uh, from a pile of question. So I'm going to do them. So it's not in particular order, okay? And um, those questions, anybody can use them. So it doesn't matter which state you are in, you can use them. All right, so let me see if I can share my screen. Again, is this your first time that you find us on YouTube? Take a moment. Uh, I say, press and uh, they call it smash. <laughs> the notification bell <laughs> so every time we're coming up with a new video that you can find out about it so you can have a chance to watch it and also if you like what you see on the video make sure you share with your friends or the people who might you might think might be benefit from those videos so if you think it's going to beneficial to some people share it with them and at the same time this time i'm gonna leave this camera on see what happened if you like it give it a thumbs up okay give it a thumbs up if you like the video give it a thumbs up we call it give it a love uh, give it some love baby <laughs> okay and um Comments, yes, the comments. I, I almost forget about the comments. No, the comments, that's what I really, really um, enjoy reading. So if you have a special video that you want me to talk about, you can let us know in your comments and really appreciate you. Let's get to work. You know the drill, pause the video. Every time the question come up, pause it and answer it and come back to verify the answer best way you're gonna be able to learn this, okay? So as always, I'm, I'm going to do the best that I can to make sure everybody can get something from this. All right, let's get to work. And insurance, insurance policy are not drawn up through negotiation. So that's when you cannot negotiate the contract. And an insured has the little to say about this provision. What contract characteristic does this describe? So you cannot negotiate. Either you accept it or de deny it. So take it or leave it. This is what that means. Take it or leave it. Take it or Leave it. If you don't like the way it is, that's your problem. The insurance company not gonna make it fancy for you. <laughs> Either you like it or you don't. Either you accept it or reject it. So that's when anything, any mistake in that contract, it will resolve in the favor of the insured. That's when the client. So if there's a mistake, the company responsible for that. So unilateral, no. Nope. Conditional, no. Nope. Personal, no. Nope. This is Asian contract. Take it or leave it. Asian means take it or leave it. Either you accept it or you reject it. There is no say, oh, you know what? I don't like this paragraph. I don't like the color of it. Make it more fancy. Why you make this color ugly like that? <laughs> OK? You can't you don't say. You have no say. Either you accept it or you, you reject it. That's why insurance contract, they are a Asian contract. Okay, now there's a time where you can take unilateral, but that's not on this instant. Unilateral means one party make enforceable promise, which is the insurance company. So that's when you would say uni mean one. So that's not that on this one. Okay, you know the drill, pose. You're not doing it. Gene, I see you. Hey, hey Ashley, come on, pose it. <laughs> okay, no chin. <laughs> okay, let's go. If and insurer issue a policy based on the application that have unanswered 
questions. Which of the following is true? So, well, good luck for you, company. If you if you decide that um, you want to give somebody a policy, some question that's not answered, that's your problem. You can never go, come back and tell them to answer those questions. So the policy will be avoided? No. The insurer may deny coverage later. You can't. You did have the opportunity to fix it. You, you issued a policy. That's your problem now. The policy will be interpreted as if the insurer waive its right to have the answer. This is so true. And the last one said, the policy will be interpreted as if the insurer did not have an answer for the question. Uh, uh, the answer, no, 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 no. You better have it. You better have an. Uh, you better have an answer for it. So, so for sure, the policy will be interpreted as if the palace, no, if the insurer waive its right to uh, have this question answer. Good. All right, let's go. Let's go next. All of the following are true. So that's when everything is true. One of them is false about the convertibility options, except so you can convert, okay? Upon conversion, the premium for the permanent policy will be based upon the attain age. This sounds like it's true to me. Upon conversion, the death benefits of the permanent policy will be reduced to 50%. I don't know about that. Evident insurance is not required. Absolutely not. That's true. Must term policy have a conversion option? And that's also true. So the one that's incorrect. Upon the government, it does not. It does not. That's not a true statement. The insured under a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> life insurance policy with a triple indemnity. That's me triple three times. A triple indemnity rider accident was killed in a car accident. Okay, it was determined that it was your fault. It can't be your fault. So if it is your fault, if it is less than two years, you're gonna refund the premium. If it's more than two years. So if they don't ask, if they don't tell you how long, you always need to assume that it's more than two years. If they say it's less than two years, they will tell you. Okay. So the triple indemnity right there, the policy specify that the death must not be contributed to by the insured in any manner. In this case, what you receive? Zero amount? Nope. 50, no, 100,000 sound nice to me. Because remember, suicide is not covered for two years. Okay. An insured and his wife are both involved in a head on collusion. The husband died. The husband dies instantly, and the wife dies 15 days later. The company pays the death benefits to the state of the insured. What this provision call? What is that? Accident to death? Yeah, but that's not what we're looking for here. Survivor, no. Second to that policy, it could be that now. So it's coming disaster. In order for them to, for the beneficiary, for the wife to get it, she have to outlive at least 30 days. Then they were going to pay it on the spouse and the wife state at that point. That's what we call a common disaster with simultaneous death law. That will determine the simul, this MU, whatever, MU. You know, I'm not too good in spelling MU. 
Martinez. Defla. So that's that's an extra regulation they add when that thing happens. When they cannot determine, so they say, in order for that to happen, you have to outlive the insured for 30 days or more. Then, if you die because of the accident, then your state will get the money. That's all that's saying. An annuity owner is funding an annuity that will supplement her retirement because she does not know what effect inflation may have on her retirement dollars, she would like to, she would like a return that will equal to the performance of the standard and poor 500 index. She would most likely purchase what type? Variable annuity? No. Flexible annuity? No. Immediate annuity? No. When you see the word index, so that should be an equity index annuity. An insured receive an annual life insurance dividend check. What term best describes this arrangement? So this is cash. Because it's a check, that doesn't mean it's not cash, OK? Still, if they send them a $100 check, that's mean it's, it's, they're going to cash it. It's a $100 check. So it would be correct. If not reduction of premium, because if he was applying the dividend check to reduce, let's say the client was paying next year $1,000, then he said, use the $100, okay? If they use the $100, then now next year, they were going to pay $900. That would be reduction of premium. That's what that would mean. Um, there is no such thing. Accumulation interest was going to say, you know, I'd keep this hundred bucks and pay me interest. And that interest will be taxable. As you know, interest always taxable. See, when you read this stuff, it's just that simple. It's good. Good stuff. Good stuff. All of the following entity regulates variable annuity, variable. Anything variable, remember, you need a life license to sell, and also you need a security license. So you need two licenses now to sell that. Because part of it is insurance, Part of it is investments. So you find insurance. If I put any variable, you find two things. Part of it is insurance, and part of it is investments. Because of that, the government regulates that, the SEC regulates that, and the insurance department regulates that. So the only thing that's not is this. So the Guarantee Association is there to protect the policy owner and beneficiary against insolvency of the insurance company. But they're not there to regulate variable life insurance. SEC and the federal government insurance department, they don't that regulates variable life insurance. That's why you as a person, who, if you want to sell anything that is variable, you have to register. You have to register with FINRA. Okay? So that's when you have to register with FINRA. You become a member of FINRA. All right, that's enough for you. On the next exam, you can learn more about that. Which is true about cash surrender, non forfeiture option? Cash surrender. Which one is true about cash? So if you know, now is it somebody that have a whole life policy? They said, I don't want it anymore. I want to cash it out. I want my money. So tell me what's true. Fund exceeding the premium paid at taxable as ordinary income. What this saying is, somebody want to cash the policy. They, let's say they receive $10,000. 
But when they really actually check, they only pay 9,000 in premium. So that's when they have a profit of $1,000. So that's when cash that exceed the cash value, it would be taxed as ordinary income. So that thousand dollars, it's exceed the taxable. The, I mean, it's exceed the premium. So therefore, it's taxable as ordinary income. So this is correct. After the surrender, the end should cover for grace period. Now, the policy remain active. Now, the policy receive the original. No, that's never happened. Never happened. Which of the following is key distinction between variable and variable universal life? So the difference between those two really is not that much. Pretty much you just take the, everything in the variable life insurance they put it inside their universal life. Because that brings that flexibility on it. So let's check. Variable whole life allow the policy loan. Both of them does. Variable universal life has a fixed premium. Both of them have a fixed premium. Variable whole life has a variable universal life a fixed premium. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Variable whole life has a guaranteed death benefit. This is true. Variable universal life is regulated solely by no. So those things here we don't need. So we just need this. The correct answer is that. Because the beautiful thing about a variable whole life, there is a minimum guaranteed death benefits for sure. There is a minimum. So what does that mean? Let me explain. If you buy a policy, a variable life insurance for $100,000. So the face amount can go up to 110, 110,000. But at the same time, it can go down to 80,000. Why? Because part of his investment, part of his insurance. So if that happened, the person died here, they're going to get their guarantee minimum. So it's guaranteed. That's why they're going to have their die. But if they die when the face amount was 110, they will get the 110. That's what that means, folks. That's when there is a guarantee minimum death benefit, which is the original starting point of the policy. You will always get that. You're looking for the higher, but if it's lower, I'm going to need my minimum. What is the purpose of a fixed period? When something is fixed, it doesn't change. What doesn't change? The time, such as 10 years, pay me for 10 years. So you know how long you're going to last, but you don't know how much the check going to be. So to provide guarantee income for life, it is a bill for life. So therefore, this is incorrect. To provide a guarantee amount of money each month, each month. But <clears throat> I don't believe that. That's fixed amount. To provide a guarantee income for a certain amount of time, See, it tell you the key words, guys. So this is not true it's to settle. So the correct answer is this one is C. So fixed period time for certain, that's the fix and that's the period. This is fix, that's, the that's it right there. So if you are going to with the, the keyword for, you could say this is fixed. That's why I say fixed period. And this is the time. And that's the day period. See? And that's why this is so crucial to understand. Let me erase some of that craziness here. All right. Traditional IRA contribution are tax deductible based on what? In order for it to be tax tax deductible into an, an, IRA, an IRA, is it based on the person age? No. IRA limit? No. Income limit? Yes. 
how long they plan now. So the correct answer is based on the income limit. So because there is a time if you if you're making too much money, um, that can cause a problem. So if you're making too much money, they may uh, they may not um, let you take a deduction. That's what I mean. The accelerate benefits provision will provide an early payment. See, accelerated mean receive early payment of what? Death benefits. When they insured what? Become terminal ill? Oh, that sounds like it, yeah. Needs money to borrow? No. Has earned enough credit? No. Become disabled? No. So become terminal ill. Like if the person have like a cancer, or maybe they're gonna have maybe one year to live, maybe six months to live. Okay. So they terminal ill. So, so at that point, the terminal ill, they can do make pretty much accelerate death benefit and make the death benefit come early. or faster if you put it that way. If an insured withdraw a portion of a face of the of the face amount in the form of accelerate benefits. So if you take think of it, if the person okay you take some money, let's say you cover four hundred thousand dollars and you want to exercise the accelerate death benefit for twenty five thousand dollars. So how much money left? Seventy five thousand. So is that goes up or down? So down. So that's when you get a smaller death benefits. So the benefit will be forfeited now. The death benefit will be the same as the original amount now. The death benefit will be larger No. So absolutely not because it goes down because based on the amount that you take out. But that's an example. Just, I want to make sure you get that. The annuity owner dies while the annuity is still in the accumulation stage. When you see accumulation, you see pay in period. So in other words, if I wanna say uh, accumulation, that's pay in, that's when I'm putting money into that annuity. So what happens? Some, sometime while the person doing that, they can pass, they can die right there. They can pass away in the, in the process. So if they pass away, so what's gonna happen? The owner, state will receive the money been what that's never happened if you don't have a beneficiary good luck to that who would do not with no beneficiary the insurance company will retain the cash value then what you, you're stealing the money <laughs> please that beneficiary will have you will have a, you will get some lawsuit right there for doing that the money will continue to go tax deferred until liquidation. No, the beneficiary are not going to do that. I don't think so. I don't think they're going to do that. Why would I do that? Let that money go tax deferred. No, the beneficiary will receive the greater amount. Yeah, they would want to get cash that money. But what? The greater amount paid into the annual or the cash value, whatever is higher. So either the cash value or what they pay, whichever, whichever is higher. Okay. Oh, this one was not. It looked like this is go pretty fast. Or maybe I, maybe I, maybe I, I, I do it fast. I don't know. My bad, guys. If I go too fast, I apologize for that. Okay. Anyway, hey, listen. You can still uh, post some um, comments if there's one of those questions. You still have more things that's not clear. Just let us know. We'll give you more feedback on it. Okay. Because we don't want to keep the video for too long. So an insured owns fifty thousand dollars whole life. At age 47, decides to cancel his policy, exercise the extended term. Remember, REC. So that's been reduced, paid up. Reduce, paid up. That's a P. Extended term. and cash surrender. 
that's rec. Okay, so now if that's what happened, so it choose that's one option, the second option. Okay, so that's when when you do an extended term, they just cover you for a term policy, but with the same face as the whole life. Same face as the whole life, except it's your term. Okay, except, except it's just a term policy. So therefore, the correct answer, even though how much cash value, the cash value is what? 20 grand. So 20,000, they're gonna tell you for how long you're gonna cover you, except it's still gonna cover you for the same 50,000. So the correct answer would be the 50,000. So the extended term, you need to know this is what cover you for the highest amount of protection. But the reduced paid up cover you for the longest period of protection. See two different things. Longest period, reduced paid up because it cover you for the same time. It's a whole life policy to age 100. Because this is covered to age 100. So that's the reason. So let me just take some of them here. Okay, cover you to age 100. That's the reason we tell you, hey, listen, you can do this. I guess if you take the time. Yeah. Ah. 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 Okay, let's go ahead and really appreciate you guys for taking the time. Okay, you can do this. You can. You can do it. Do what you gotta do. Pass that test, and I'll see you at the top. Don't forget, comments, thumbs up. You say that I like this video. <laughs> and share with everybody. And let us know when you pass that exam. All right? Have a good time. I'll see you guys at the top. Because the bottom is too crowded. Let's go forward. You can do it. Believe in yourself.